We're here to review the latest Matthew Vaughn film, Argyle. Author of the Argyle series, Ellie Conway! I am such a fan! Oh yeah? What is it you do? Espionage. In my book. <laughs> All right, I'm Chad, one half of your award-winning podcast. We used to talk about this at work here with an advanced review of Argyle. So this seems to be an original property from Matthew Vaughn, the guy that brought us Kingsman, X-Men First Class, and a few other pretty solid movies, um, Kick-Ass also. In this one, we've got Bryce Dallas Howard as Ellie Conway, an author of a book series uh, called Argyle which uh, for the movie, uh, he's depicted as Henry Cavill and his uh, number two guy is um, John Cena in the books. Uh, Also, Ariana DeBose is their tech person. And essentially in the real world, um, she's off to meet up with her mom, Catherine O'Hara, to talk like what her latest book is going to be. And she kind of gets intercepted by Sam Rockwell, who plays Aiden, a spy who lets her know that the stuff that she's writing is actually real and that there are people coming to get her. Um, and so it's essentially like she is Sam. Basically, she's like a prophet. And they are, uh, there's a rival agency led by Brian Cranston that's trying to, you know, snatch her up and find out all the spy secrets essentially so the acting's pretty solid in this movie Bryce Dallas Howard plays like a little bit more elevated of a character than she did in the Jurassic World movies I personally never seen Sam Rockwell in kind of a leading man action type role so that's pretty cool um Brian Cranston could literally do everything that he's doing in this movie in his sleep I'm not saying he's bad at it I'm just saying like this is kind of the role that he's kind of assigned these days. Um, Catherine O'Hara, she plays the mom character, but her character has more layers. And I've never seen Catherine O'Hara play a character like this. And I say good on her for, you know, taking this role and getting to have fun. You could tell she was having fun. Um, you got Sam Jackson in here and he's for the most part, just being Sam Jackson. Um, Got some other fun little cameos like by Rob Delaney and Dulipa, and um, also some people that you may or may not recognize from the Kingsman movies. Um, it's a so overall this is a comedy, and this is just like a trying to stay one step ahead of the bad guys type action comedy adventure, and it's got some pretty funny jokes. There's a running joke about Bryce Dallas Howard's cat and how Sam Rockwell really doesn't like it. So I thought all that was pretty funny. There is a um, mid credit scene, which is a fun nod to the Kingsman, but also stands self-contained within this movie's universe. Um, So there is a twist midway in the movie. I'm not going to spoil what it is. And for me, it kind of turned me off to everything else that happened in the movie because then it had me questioning so many things. And after that point, I feel like that's when the Matthew Vaughn of it all started to come out. And he was trying to be too cute, in my opinion. Like, he's known to be a hyper stylized uh, director. And some stuff that he does just felt like he was going a little bit too over the top with a couple of the action sequences. So I'm going to say I personally did not like this movie, but I don't know. Like I, I talked to a few people in the movie theater and they didn't care for it, but I don't know. I feel like this movie does have an audience. It, it, the twist didn't necessarily come out of nowhere, but the implications of that just, I didn't personally care for. So I'm not, if you really want to see this movie, catch a matinee. Otherwise I say, wait till it comes out on streaming 
uh, because it has a lot of good parts in it, but I would not recommend you pay full price for this movie. Um, Yeah, also, I want an Argyle shirt. Uh, So, that's neat. Um, Sorry, audio listeners. (laughs) If you want to see the shirt, uh, check out the YouTube version. But um, I've been Chad... Do the YouTube things, like and subscribe, leave a comment. What's your favorite spy movie? If you're listening to the audio, please, please, please leave us a review, subscribe. And whether you're doing audio or video, please share this. We love engagement. Have a good one.